What's up, everybody? Let me again. Another little session of counterpoints. Um, Goodrich. Allie. Kyle. Spurrier. And um, so, yeah, like we always say, uh, wherever we get together to work on some music, we like to take some time, just kind of chat, a little roundtable discussion, see what's on everyone's minds, what's going on. And uh, this, this time, Kyle's actually got a little subject he was thinking about. Yeah, well, you know, I, I figured maybe we'd... Uh, let you know a little bit about us. So figured we could talk about some of the shows that we watched in our youth and uh, some of the things. I know there are some ridiculous plots in a lot of uh, shows when we were growing up. Yeah. Um, so just to talk about some of those and kind of reminisce, if, if you will. About, I will. About those things. <laughs> so, um, I mean, of course, everybody, I, I, you know, most people... I remember spending my Saturday mornings like watching a lot of cartoons, yeah. eating a fat bowl of cereal. You know that yeah. that good old you know, just yeah. a nostalgia blanket right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, right. But yeah. Uh, it being Saturday morning and everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's but actually yeah, you know, like, actually a Saturday morning. Yeah, uh, right yeah, now. Absolutely. So you know, appropriate. I, I so. can feel the warm glow. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I actually, cloud. I'll I'll go ahead and say I um I actually grew up without cable, so I was you know I grew up on PBS and uh, you know the WB and stuff like that, Channel Channel Twenty One, which I think was KXTX or something, something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, yeah, I actually my car, I I split my time between like cartoons and uh, um, I actually saved up my money to buy a Nintendo 64 when I was in fourth grade nice. or third grade. Mowing think. all those lawns and things. No, I was in third grade. <laughs> <laughs> no, I that, was, that was, the, I saved up my birthday money, uh, my like Christmas money and my allowance for like nice. a year. So it must have been fourth grade, I think, because like all my friends had it in third grade. Not all my friends, all the friends, you know, that ha- we were able to get one. They weren't really was, your friends. You were just like, yeah. <laughs> 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 But uh, no, so I saved up for like a whole year, and I finally was able to buy it and Star Fox, which I mean was yeah. awesome. Oh so I actually I played that a lot on Saturday mornings. Um, See, like, I would Goodrich going up to the clerk. Would you take my money? I have a sixty-four, please. Yeah, <laughs> actually, I did. Um, when I got it, I went to Target to get it, and they were out. But they had. <laughs> I had saved up enough money to buy the Nintendo sixty-four, an extra controller, and Star Fox. So they had the extra controller. Controller in Star Fox in stock, so I got to take that home with me, and I paid. I paid the nice gentleman, and then uh, he was like, "And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna ship it to your house whenever they come in." And I was like, "Oh, cool, okay, like that's fine." It was like the longest like week and a half of my life because I had Star Fox, and so like I opened it up, and I looked at the cartridges, oh, it's gonna be so great. Not like, with the manuals, were actually yeah. subs, like, oh, yeah. full and stuff. I did, yeah, yeah. I, 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 uh, yeah I, I like read through the manuals, I had the, I like everything memorized, and like you know take it with me in the bathroom. And like, oh, it's gonna be so great when I played this game. It was so awesome. So when the game came in, like... Sleeping with the controller. Yeah. I, like, knew everything about it. Yeah. So I I just, you know, I just had to play through it. But, yeah, so I did that. Um, My thing was I would uh, go with my parents to Blockbuster. Whenever I, we got the Nintendo 64, mm. was that was like a big thing is we would go to Blockbuster and like Nathan, my brother, and I would get to pick out like a Nintendo 64 game and uh, and, and maybe a movie if, you know, we were feeling sassy. You know? Yeah, for your <laughs> children that don't know what that is, that's where you'd go and rent films right, yeah. in a physical medium. Block- Blockbuster used to be the hot spot Friday nights. There's like a was. family video around the corner from here that I don't know how it's open. I It's surprising. Yeah. But, Who knows, yeah. man? But uh, no, that's so that's that. Like, it was, it was mostly like Friday nights and like Saturday mornings. Like, if I slept mm-hmm. over at someone's place or they slept over, like we would we would do that and like play Nintendo. And uh, we'd normally just pick up where we left off playing Nintendo the next morning. But I do have some. I actually made a, a short list of stuff I used to watch. But that's fair. So yeah, so I didn't have cable. So <laughs> I'll let you guys discuss all the crazy <laughs> cartoons on cable because. I know that they were there were. I mean, I, I know my Saturday morning, of course, X Men was one of the big ones. I yeah. you know, thoroughly enjoyed my older brother was a big influence on me too. He you know, he's really what kind of got me set into like yeah. comic books and you know, role playing yeah. games and all that kind of I stuff. I think X Men was on the WB, I th- I, I yeah. watched X-Men. Yeah, it, it, I yeah. think it was on the WB and mm-hmm. like it was it was like X Men, Spider Man, Spider Man, not man, yeah. not multiple or anything. <laughs> Other well, that'd be interesting. Well, well I mean, there. Yeah, yeah, continue. Yeah, yeah good, <laughs> that's, that's, different that's topic. A whole yeah. Um, but you know, like, and of course, then eventually, like, uh, 
Disney got their hands on ABC and made one Saturday morning yeah. and stole Doug from Nickelodeon and ruined him with a three quarter length cut. Uh, for some um, of us, that was a great thing. Yeah, I know I it was good for you. Doug. <laughs> That's fair. And okay. I, and I had no preconceived notion. I was like, "This is a cool cartoon." It's the only reason I started three quarter watching one Saturday sleep. morning. I think was I could pull that off. Like, <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no. And a little like. Uh, I think the pants were maybe a little bit longer. The too. pants were it's like, like yeah. a capri. Yeah, three quarters. Like or cargo something. shorts. It's like he got like, self conscious about his elbows bit. and knees. He as might soon have as had like on one ABC. extra piece of hair or something. I think it's just it's ABC that. is a little more conservative than Nickelodeon. <laughs> what was They're it like, before? we can't be showing bows and knees up in here. He just had oh, shorter just short shorts. Sleeves, yeah, shorter it's just shorts, regular, you know. Them bony knees together. Yeah. Uh, that's just like Doug's look, though, is like to <laughs> yeah. me. Sorry, I'm, uh, my mind's yeah, It's like, wait, you're, <laughs> yeah. it, it, you're older, so your clothes are longer? I, but that was like the style, right? Like Jinko jeans and longer. Oh, shorts, baseball shorts, team. You know, mm-hmm. you know some mm-hmm. Jinkos are the style. Yeah. <laughs> we won't go into what Jinko jeans were, but they were. I never had any myself, but. They were. Yeah, you need they camping gear. Style. They can work, I think. <laughs> so. So wait, would this be Anyways. the older one? Yeah, the that's the old. That, okay. That's the older one. There is, you know. Oh, that's the Doug I know. I don't know what you're talking about. No, man. no, you got to find. Yeah, on the Nick one, one, he has one, like one Saturday morning. regular short sleeves. Okay. So this yeah. would be the ABC. Yeah, it'd be the ABC okay. one Saturday. Of course, you know, and with that came recess as well. Recess. Yeah. Man, I got down oh, on recess. Yes. Like, I remember when the recess movie came out, yeah. and it was like game changer. Like that. Like the. Yeah, the three D intro, like mm-hmm. going into the schoolyard, like blew my mind, mm-hmm. and I was like, "What?" You uh, can see like it. It's all about going yeah, to camp. Yeah, like it's almost going up to his wrist. It's like just get a full length shirt. Dude. Oh, it's, <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't have noticed. Yeah, I, exactly. <laughs> no, yeah, you know, no recess. That's great. And actually, Stuart Houseman uh, and I. We used to talk about recess all the time, and uh, that show was awesome. Like with Spinelli and Gus mm-hmm. and yeah. Gretchen and Mikey, and of course <laughs> TJ. That was yep. like we'll still still say like to to Cadis, my, my wife. Whenever yeah, the Ashley Posse. <laughs> the, whenever uh, whenever like we'll have spaghetti, be like look spaghetti, it's a sketty. It just like the, from one episode when she was like king of the kindergartners or queen of the kindergartners. Oh Spinelli yeah, was. that's right. That show was amazing. I oh my gosh, Miss Spinster and uh, what was the little kid's name? Ralph or uh, yeah, the little tattletale. Yeah, yeah, a little <laughs> brown noser. Randall. 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 It was Randall. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh what, wasn't Ralphie? No, wait. That's oh, that's Magic School Bus. That's a different Ralphie. Thing. Yeah. Never mind. Oh, Magic the guy School with bus. the armor yeah. on his shirt. Oh, man, yeah. yeah. Magic, Magic yeah. School Bus. Another that, that's one like, I watched. Yeah. Was, I'm, I'm was Pepper this. Ann on one Saturday morning, yes, too, Pepper or is that Ann. later Pepper in the day? Ran, okay. Pepper Ann. I always woke up for, like, the tail end of all that stuff. I slept in, like, hard when I was a kid, so... It's okay. You're entitled to that when you're a child. It's uh, You should absolutely... It's like, why don't... Nobody gets it. Come on, sleep till ten. Let's go. <laughs> no, no, man. I Push was the weird. limits. Well, I mean, when I first got that sixty-four, like that's all I could think about was just, just like, like, was, like get through my homework, like, and and my my parents, you know, go play outside, and then you can come in and play your Nintendo, and I was just like, oh my god, so good, like, oh. yeah, <laughs> you're outside, like counting up minutes. It's like how many minutes outside equate for a time on sixty-four? Yeah, right. And you just wanted to do yourself. No, it was 30 fun. minutes outside Five equals three hours yeah. on the 64 yeah. in my mind. Yeah. No, that, no, but yeah, recess was definitely, I, I have the recess movie at home. Like I just <laughs> kind of found it and nice. bought it. Cause I was like, it's so, uh, I used to watch it all the time. Um, and uh, what else was in the morning? Um, Pokemon, obviously well, Pokemon yep, had the yeah. episodes and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know if you guys ever watched Yu-Gi-Oh. Nathan and I really <laughs> got down on Yu-Gi-Oh. Like we had the cards and everything, and when we went on road trips. We would always play Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, and like heart of the cards, good be. I'm like, when his little hair comes up and he turns into like a man. There's <laughs> like the spirit, the, like the, the Egyptian, Egyptian thing, pharaoh like comes or whatever. Into him, yeah. I like, watched the first episode of that recently on Netflix, and just it like it is on Netflix. Yeah. It's not good. I like, mean, it takes a little bit to get into it, but I. Uh, was it Joey? Was oh, that it's because dude? you don't play with the heart of the cards. The heart of the cards. That's why you lost. It's all about the heart of the cards, though. What? No, you drew randomly from your deck, and you got, like, a giant monster. But maybe it's when pieces. you, like, shuffle, like, the heart of the cards. Gotta trust it. Trust it. Anyways. No, I don't know. That was Yu-Gi-Oh. If you're into, you know... Card That's games, ba- or shows based on card if games. If you don't you know. want your monsters coming out of a ball... Right. Yeah, That's pretty, pretty much what I want. Yeah, it's fine. 
yeah. in defense mode. I mean, mode. The, the thing is, is they're not even real. Like, they're literally like Kaiba Corporation comes up with a way to digitize the cards. They're not even like real things like Pokemon are. Right. Not yeah. to not to regress to <laughs> past topics or anything. But yeah. no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I really liked Yu-Gi-Oh, and I didn't think too hard about it. <laughs> I just liked it because I was really, is, I was really is, into Pokemon. This is past so. you. I mean, like, yeah, I definitely played you yeah. know Yu-Gi-Oh cards with my little brother and everything yeah. like that. I schooled him all the time because he didn't get it. And, you know, yeah. I was like, yeah. okay, yeah, I'll make my deck. Then you can make the deck that you want out of what's left. Nathan was <laughs> really good. The best yeah. shit. Nathan uh, was. He was. I think he was into Yu-Gi-Oh a little bit more than I was. I, I enjoyed. It. I liked playing the card game. But Nathan, I think he was uh, set him on his journey of you know tabletop games and stuff. Was playing Yu-Gi-Oh and be like, whoa. Um, well, yeah, what else? Well, and like on our last topic, due to the camera that we're on, we're gonna take a quick little pause and we'll be right back. All right. right back. <laughs> Back in the saddle. Back in the saddle. Oh. Um, anyway, so what, what we were talking before, we had to stop, just TV shows. Um, I have a little list here. So from my uh, childhood, we got things like Wishbone, which yep. uh, Spurry, you were saying. It was filmed in Plano, not yeah. too far from here. So. Yeah, we're in North Texas, if for all of you out-of-staters, which is mm-hmm. uh, Plano's way off to the east. We're in Fort Worth right now, off to the west. But after you've driven around it some time, everything just kind of starts to... Uh, one massive. You're just on the road, on the highways. I so. think I remember uh, a, a previous manager of ours, Haley, she... Actually went to school with somebody whose dog was Wishbone. Whoa! Yeah, and like everybody in class was always like, "Hey, so when what's are you the story? Bring, what's, <laughs> what's the story? Are you gonna bring Wishbone to class?" And they're always like, "No, it's my dog. Leave me alone." Like he's, he's <laughs> working right now. Like, okay. Yeah, he's on set. <laughs> yeah. No, Wishbone was not great. getting makeup. Uh, yeah, I, I remember yeah. uh, like whenever we got into middle school and high school, like some of the stories like Ivanhoe and the Odyssey mm-hmm. and the Iliad, like Wishbone had. Versions or the of, Tempest and things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, I've done oh, this already. Yeah, like like Ben Hur and stuff and all that. Do you uh, think anyways. Wishbone's responsible for like the uprise of like animal <laughs> clothing? Because I feel like that definitely was super cute. <laughs> it was pretty, but adorable. only in that medium. And then I see it in real world. I'm just like that poor animal. Well, it's not Wishbone. He's well, yeah, not no, exactly. A it's historical not historical character like Robin Hood. I mean, yeah, <laughs> or uh, Don Quixote. So. Um, anyways, uh, oh, another one when I was little was Dragon Tales. I watched that one not not often, but do you guys remember Dragon Tales? That, the name rings a bell. I, I, I remember it. I, that, it was like a step above Barney. I didn't realize was that was like, that old. When I was yeah. babysitting, my the kids I was babysitting would watch Dragon Tales. Yeah, it's, I, I still like, watch Dragon oh, Tales. Oh, okay. This is <laughs> just got a feeling. No, um, it was a good show. I, I yeah, felt yeah, like yeah, it, it was, it was, okay. it was okay. similar yeah. to if, was, if you wanted your ponies to have scales. Right. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Um, Kratz Creatures, that was one after school. I don't so was Wishbone, mm, if I remember yeah. that. What was that? Kratz that. Creatures, what the, 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 the Kratz brothers, Chris and Martin, I think, Kratz, um, who just, it was basically a show about animals, it, and, like, they would PBS have a nature show, show yeah. and such. Yeah, yeah okay. it was nature, and I learned, like, uh... What was that weird little Zabumbafu. creature? Zabumbafu. Yeah, Zabumbafu. yeah Zabumbafu. And it was, uh... uh what, I think it was, was a lemur. A lemur, uh, yes, yes, yes. A uh, yes. ring-tailed lemur, maybe. But Zabumbafu was, like, the same thing, pretty much. It was, like, Kratz Creatures. Okay, Zabumbafu was more recently, right? Uh, no, it was, like, the same time as Kratz Creatures. Really? Yeah. I think so. Because it was, I mean, one might have been after the other. Maybe one got morphed into the other. I don't know. But mm. I used to watch those two all the time. They had all sorts of crazy animals on there, and it was always yeah. cool to see. Um, Reading Rainbow, obviously. Yeah. Watched that all the time. All of our time. represent. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, Magic School Bus. Yeah. yeah. I mean, are they still making episodes? No, I don't no? think so. Okay. I well, think they might have the fired best her. She was not a very responsible teacher. Yeah. What, and what did you say? It was the, the best day in school when they were like, let's put on Matt. Oh, yeah. Even oh, if, yeah. like, we're in the yeah. fifth or sixth grade, like, I don't care. Let's just, <laughs> I don't it's just so much better. Yeah. Yeah. So. They did a great job of portraying all that stuff and just. What are like an awesome. I always thought it was an awesome concept. Like the school bus just is basically like a teleportation it, yeah. device. Yeah. It's kind of a TARDIS. It, it's yeah, a little bit a, if it can yeah. move in time. And I mean, and it did have and, eyes that had a personality, much like we know the TARDIS to have. Yeah. Uh, you know. Go into the heart of the school bus, and it's another <laughs> universe on its own. Like, what's what's Miss Frizzle like hauling there Ms. under Frizzle's the hood? A time lord. <laughs> yeah, time oh, lord. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, that's so. true. She just like can't. She just she, doesn't. Maybe she's like a time lord that doesn't believe in like time travel because it like messes up too much stuff. She's like, I only use my TARDIS to travel in space. What so if Miss Miss Frizzle is the final incarnate of the Doctor and has just realized I can't do this anymore? Right, maybe. Oh. Like, and and you just like it's I can't twist. go back in time. Like. Well, fixed the TARDIS. Looks like a bus. Yeah, changed hey. its changed its shape. 
Just use it to teach all them children. All them children. He's so realized the greater good. One companions get like ten young companions. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it's not weird because you're a teacher. Yeah, you know, and they all turn in their permission <laughs> slips to go. Yeah. So. That, that that's got to be a lot of paperwork. Daily field trips. Oh like, man, can't even imagine. Could, yeah, could oh, you? No. Maybe you could shed some light on what There's that no light required. to shed. There's, There's no, like, no, no way way to to <laughs> It's like that's a big dark room. They walk in. It's like the children are gone again. Well, okay. it's okay. They're probably in somebody's the, the principal comes bloodstream by. or yeah, inside an oven. They're, they're in a volcano. What look like on the wall? It's like, Friday, uh, Space. we're going <laughs> to enter the Cheeto Boy. You know? Like, <laughs> freaking Arnold. Yes. Why do you wish I should have stayed home today? So, dude, do you understand what you get to do every day? Like, yeah. why? Poor Arnold. I don't know. I mean, I, it's like I mean, looking a gift horse in the mouth. Like, come <laughs> on, dude. Like, this is awesome. You want to, like, take tests and quizzes? I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's somebody's bag out there. And they're like, dude, it's that's true. me right now. I don't want to even freak in someone's bloodstream or... Yeah. You know, I just remember one thing that sticks out in that one is when they went through the digestive system and like standing on the precipice of the large intestine that like is about to go down to you know the sphincter and whatnot. Yeah. And me thinking like, like do it, Miss Frizzle, <laughs> do it, like poop out your class. And she's like, well, time to go. Let's do turn around. And I was like, no, <laughs> complete the cycle. <laughs> and so it's epic too. They're like standing there. And she's like, this is the end of the large intestine where waste goes out. And like yes, we yes. all know what it is, yeah. Miss Frizzle. Yes. Do it, do it. Send your suit. Oh out. man! I, and I just remember like being like so let down. It's like God, they go back. Out. I think they, I don't know if they go all the way. I think they do go all the way back out and like coughs them up or something. I think so. Yeah. yeah, yeah see, that's right. that's the problem. Is the stigma with that? It's just a bodily function. It's true. It's, it's, it's it. true. Well, and it's for kids, and you know they it's don't want to. Right I mean, as long normal. as you uh, like, you know, just show them leaving, and like, yeah, yeah it's I mean, okay. well. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe it doesn't well, have too. to be, you know, not on a toilet or something. Right, but, you know, yeah. it's just like, oh, I'm a little gay. It, it, becomes, it becomes touchy, though. So, anyways, uh, Mr. Well, hopefully not. <laughs> <Yeah>. but, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, there's Mr. Rogers. I watched a ton of Mr. Rogers when I was little. Classic, like, yeah. Uh, classic with the sweaters and uh, all the things he did for kids and uh, education, like learning our that country. Like mm-hmm. when I was older. Yeah. yeah, like how much he fought and championed for, you know, like yeah. kids. And um, I can't remember what it was. Um, there was a girl that wrote in and I think like she was, she was blind and she like, liked the show. And, and so like after she was like, oh, can you like talk about what you're doing more? So I know what's happening. So then he would, that's when he would start to like talk about, oh, I'm taking my shoes off. I'm putting on my sweater. It's cause, oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I didn't Cause know he was that. like all yeah. about that stuff. It's like being inclusive. And I do remember um, with that one, he visited a saxophone factory on one of his shows. It was one of his little things nice. he would do, like go out and, uh, and go to different places, talk to different people that worked around the area. He visited a saxophone factory. And when I was in fifth grade, grade going to sixth grade like i really wanted to play saxophone because like i like saw them being made and i was like oh man it's so cool like and you know Sweet. of course like jazz and whatnot like it was, yeah uh, my, my parents were into jazz and i i listened to a bunch of it too and i was like yeah saxophone so cute but mm. um yeah i just remember and then when i finally i did wind up playing the saxophone um i was just thinking like yeah like i could go visit the saxophone factory like mr rogers it'd be so awesome <laughs> well but, like with that like what i found out recently apparently he wrote almost <coughs> all of of the songs that were on the show okay. he wrote the words and the you know chords Beautiful and the melodies the and all that yeah oh, so yeah. just Dang. one just one extra layer of talent that you know he had so crazy and all yeah. the puppets and stuff yeah, yeah. king king friday and all yeah, that <laughs> yeah yes oh, man. um in that kind of same vein uh lamb chop yeah lamb chop i watched yeah. a little bit of that but i wasn't into it as much as mr rogers Rogers. I watched um, that when I was really young. Yeah, that yeah. was that was an old show. Mm-hmm. Yes, it goes on. We and used to <laughs> yep. we, we used to make fun of kids on the bus by saying that they wore lamb chop brand underwear in elementary school because oh. it made them a baby. Oh, those poor kids. Yep. I think ours was more Barney centered, but if any oh, if anybody's yeah. watching and remembers back. that, I'm, I'm sorry if I said you had lamb chop <laughs> underwear. Um, it's like, no, I don't. But you were probably a baby. Us. And they embrace it now. Yeah, they didn't, didn't they rep it proudly? Check? Thing. No, no, we just claimed it. It, oh, yeah. it was like nobody ever was like that. Was the that I'll was the rumor? I don't you know, like in high school, you get in like, oh, she slept around or something. But in elementary school, it's like they wear babies' underwear. Oh, poor guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, so say it. Well, you have Barney on your underwear. <laughs> you must be a baby. I mean, that that is true. I do remember that. Like, it was definitely cool to have like Power Rangers. Oh so, yeah. Speaking yeah, of yeah, Power, Rangers, Power Rangers, Power Rangers, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like Power Rangers and Ninja Turtles again. Ninja Turtles, Captain yeah. Planet. 
Yeah, oh, I watched Captain yes. Planet. That I, was on PBS. I, I was almost not allowed to watch Captain Planet because it's of its leftist agenda. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Like <laughs> my, my mom used to be like pretty pretty right wing, yeah. and like whenever I watched that cartoon, like the first time she saw it, she was like, "No, no." <laughs> Like, yeah, I can't imagine your mom being like that. I know it That's was wild. it was a different time completely, wow. and like, yeah. Well, I think it was more so. She's like, I don't need a cartoon like trying to press views on my kid, right. more so than like you know That's the right. agenda necessarily being the problem. So it's just like, dude, recycle environment, take care of the, really the planet. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's hard. Hard. <laughs> I mean, I learned all about water conservation. Like, I don't run the water while I'm brushing my teeth now because of that show. There you so go. yeah, you know, yeah, yeah good like, lessons. Not really. It's weird to think back on that. Like, just speaking of that, like I remember being like in the first or second grade, and they asked like, who runs the water like when they're brushing their teeth. And I was the only one that didn't raise my hand. Like you're lying and all this stuff. And it's like, and now like these <laughs> these these days, I'm sure no one would like raise raise yeah. their hands. Yeah. So just the way the mindsets changed in like poor, 20 years. Poor yeah. spirit. So, you gotta, gotta I know. I'm like, I, I don't. I'm, I'm trying to save you. Uh, <laughs> raise your hand, well, child. And the real good thing about Captain Planet is we know what happened to the kids from the Magic School Bus. Right. They all grew yeah. up. Yeah. They all yes. grew up to yeah. be. The, it's true. Yeah. And once team. again, we'll be right back. Right. <laughs> And we're back. So, uh, so yeah, so we, we, I guess we, we kind of talked about what Spurrier was flipping out the uh, memory card. Um, these have been mostly public access shows. This is going to be a part one of part two. These are shows that I, I could definitely get onto. Mm-hmm. I uh, didn't have cable. But anyways, um, I, my grandparents actually got cable. So I, whenever we would go visit my grandparents, they'd let us watch. It's like the, the best day. It was. It was yeah. really yeah. actually awesome. Well, we'll talk about that later. But <laughs> anyway, so... Um, Mr. Rogers, Magic School Bus, all these. Um, Bill Nye, the Science Guy, getting uh, his own course. Netflix yeah. show Bill, Bill, soon. Bill, oh yeah, that's right. That's gonna Which be awesome. Is great. Like, I just, is, it, is it like a re re? I don't re, know. I don't, I, I, I don't know. I don't think it is. I think no. It's more, it's more about, about him, like you know how like his thing now is like I could save the world and how he says all that oh, yeah, now. It's about yeah. him like getting topics out there and getting people to face facts and stuff mm-hmm. about climate change and things. Like here's yeah. what's going on, and if you don't like it, well, here's numbers and facts and science. There's plenty you of other things. To watch on television. Yeah, yeah. It's, it'll basically be be that. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's just weird. Like, um, I don't know if it's still on there, but Bill Nye is on Netflix. Like the actual mm-hmm. show. There's, there's like a Science collection guy. of it. Yeah. And like watching that was like, oh man, like just a blast from the past. All those '90s kids and stuff. Like watching them do their all their all their biz <laughs> Bill. and mm-hmm. Bill, 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 mm-hmm. Bill. What, what <laughs> Bill? Anyways, um, so yeah, it's it, that was a great show, and that was another one in school that we would watch. I feel all like the we, time. that one went all the way up to like high, like into high school that we would watch that. Yeah. It's like we're in like the eleventh grade, but this is <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right. This is so. <laughs> but just the way they presented it. I mean, it's like chemistry class, yeah. and or, fi- or like fi- yeah, stuff. physics or something. Yeah. I think we but watched it. It's like an in, expert so. in visual communication, just like showing you. It's like okay, like we're gonna get the super high level concept, and you know, like the rain cycle or something, and mm-hmm. we're gonna like turn it into something that you can understand. And a little child, and also a parent that's like, huh, didn't know that. Good to know. <laughs> Bill Nye's Rain Cycle of Science. Yeah. Bum, yeah. Bum, all that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, then uh, the other show, uh, Beekman's World, which mm, uh, yeah. was always the competing science show, it was a little bit lesser known. Um, I think I think that uh, Bill was on not Channel 13 on, on KERA, but I think that Beekman was. I, it might have been the other way around. I can't but like, remember. Yeah. But I, I, Beekman's world was always kind of. It was like. I was like. He was kind of a little bit more of like a crazier scientist. I, just, just, yeah, just I, I don't remember that yeah. one. Too like much. tilted angle on the camera, and he was, and like there's hair, was just, hair was everywhere, and there was like smoke in the background. He was like, oh, here's what we do. When you first said, I was thinking of the Muppet Be- Beaker. Oh, oh no, yeah, not Beaker. But uh, no, Beekman's yeah. world. He was just yeah. another Ooh. another. Uh, uh, um, television scientists who were talking about different concepts for kids, and it was it was really good. Um, but yeah, Bill Nye just he always kind of kept my attention a little bit longer than Beekman did. Like, oh, let's okay, see, yeah, let's see Beekman. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I do remember That's him. Right. Right. Yeah. Beekman, a little jumpsuit and everything. Yeah, and then uh, and then uh, another one I used to watch actually before I used to go to Boy Scout meetings. Uh, Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Oh, yeah, of course. Would always yeah. come on. Um, and that was great. Um, Did you ever play ton, that game on the school computers? Uh, occasionally. Did you ever feel like it was rigged? Because it was. Remember. Was it? <laughs> no, yeah, it was. It's always like, you know, 
you, you, you pretty much you think you know where she is and you click the spot and it's just like, oh, you are oh, always yeah. a step behind, right. like no matter what. It's like the Oregon Trail, <laughs> but that wasn't rigged. You just sucked at it. <laughs> well, no, people just died easily back yeah. then. <laughs> well, but you didn't understand about like rationing. It's like, we're just like, yeah, let's just go on the trail. And you're like, you run out of money. Run yeah, out of food, kill everything. In yeah, there, it's like yeah. you could bring back like a pound of meat out of like the 10,000 pounds that you just murdered or whatever. Yeah. It's like, well, no. Nah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and then uh, so, so then there was also the Kids WB, which I, I watched all the time mm-hmm. again. Um, which uh, one of the shows I used to watch all the time in the morning was Hysteria, um, which was a yep. cartoon history show. It basically the Animaniacs, but with history. Yeah, exactly. With like Father Time, Big Fat Baby, and uh, Lucky Bob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes. And uh, um, hi <laughs> yes, no, and all that. Um, me and Nathan watched that all the time. It was it was hilarious. Um, and uh, another one of the Animaniacs, of course. Yeah. I think yeah. They're on Netflix now. Or? Yeah, Animaniacs yeah. is on Netflix. So I think, is Freakazoid also on I Netflix? I don't think it is. I haven't seen it out there. I would definitely I be it. watching Freakazoid it. Freakazoid was good. That was always. Same with the, the Animaniacs. When, and I, like my, I remember my dad always thought it was funny that like Bill Clinton, like to have him in the intro playing the saxophone. Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely. I don't know who that is. I always thought Freakazoid, I think. Yeah. Freakazoid was like, if you could escape from Tron with your powers, <laughs> like, you know, like that kind <laughs> of be what happened. Yeah. Yeah, but well, that was good, and uh, of course, peaking the brain. That was always well. That was actually a, a sub thing of Animaniacs that got its own later, right? Was it really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because peaking oh. the brain was like a short that was on oh, yeah. Animaniacs. Yeah. Much like Good Idea, yeah. Bad Idea. Those I think were my favorite. Yeah. Like with the skeleton, it's like oh. Good Idea playing trombone in the marching band. Uh, yeah. Bad idea. Bad idea. <laughs> playing piano in the marching band. <laughs> 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 He's trying to, like, it was always piano. wacko doing the doing the. Uh, and, oh, yeah. I, and a kind of a fun fact: the guy that does a uh, brain's voice um, in the uh, in the in the Animaniacs, picking the brain, he is the voice of Lexus too. So whenever you know, at Lex, you know, drive a Lexus, you know, it's oh. got like a really gravelly uh, tone. Weird. It's like really deep. That's brain, and he does okay. a lot of uh, Orson Welles impersonations. Like he That's, was Orson yeah. Welles on Futurama. Yeah. Um, so he it's just that voice. And so now whenever I I see like a, a Lexus commercial, like I I always think of like, like you brain. just think no. <laughs> no. One, one of the funniest Orson Welles things that I can think of is a scene from The Critic. I don't know if y'all ever watched that. It was like I think it was on for like three seasons. Mm-hmm. It was oh what's his name. Um, John John Lovitz. It was a John. John he, he was the main too. character, and he played this uh, this c- critic. He was a critic in New York. Oh, oh, oh the animated show. Yeah, the yeah, animated yeah, yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say the scene, um, but go go look up the critic right. Orson Welles, and it's there's a it's just hilarious. Right. Super gotcha. funny. Gotcha. Well, um, cool. Um, we, we, oh, back sorry. on back on the yeah. pinky and the brain though, like the uh, I think it was a uh, Stephen Stephen Grove mentioned yeah. this to me. Oh, sorry, we probably shouldn't say last names, but uh, <laughs> Stephen was mentioning it to me, and he was like, "Have you ever like listened to like the theme song and actually thought about it?" It's like one's a genius and one's insane, and like if you really look at it, like Which Pinky Pinky always there? actually puts out like legitimate responses. And brain kind of just like shoved them to the side, but really, brain's the maniacal one wants to take over the world. So maybe he's maybe the insane he's one. He's the insane one, and Pinky's the genius. So Pinky, go back and twist. watch it with that mindset. <laughs> it was a twist. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a good point. And do we, do we talk about Arthur? That's like kind of the last one on my list of no, I and that's it. Hey, Arthur. Yeah. No, and his Arthur. his uh, image problems and how they're okay with you know, purporting that. Yeah, you know, he had that whole thing with like his. Oh no, my nose! I'm an anteater. <laughs> Oh. And then, you know, you got shaped up. I know that was part of the book originally, like, you know, right. the, the actual series where yeah. I think the author decided to do it because it was a little more aesthetically pleasing or easier to draw. Right. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I just remember I Ziggy, Ziggy Marley in the theme song. Yeah. yeah. And that was, <laughs> hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. <laughs> Let him learn to work. Anyway, so, so yeah, those are mostly, um, you know, Pub, public access shows that were like on mm-hmm. ABC, the WB, mm-hmm. um, PBS. Um, so we're going to actually do a part two of this where we talk about mostly shows that were on cable. Um, yeah. And uh, well, babe, if you want to check that one out, that'll be a episode or segment two, and uh, we'll see you then. So uh, talk to you later, guys. Later. Bye. Bye.